squares, square roots, cubes, and cube roots. So in indices, when we talk about a number being squared, we're talking about a power of two. And when we talk about cubes, we talk about a number being to the power of three. And some of the square numbers we should really know off the top of our head. So let's have a look at a few. One squared, well that means one times one, and that's one. Two squared means two times two, which is four. Three squared means three times three, which is nine. Four squared means four times four, which is 16. Five squared means five times five, which is 25. Six squared means six times six, which is 36. Seven squared means seven times seven, which is 49. Eight squared means eight times eight, which is 64. Nine squared means nine times nine, which is 81. And 10 squared means 10 times 10, which is 100. And yeah, you should really get to know some of these off by heart, but if you don't, you just it's just times tables, so you should be able to work it out on the spot. And all these numbers, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100, there's obviously infinite amount of them. We call these our perfect square numbers because there is a number squared that equals those numbers. And now we should, now we're going to look at square roots. And a square root is the opposite of squared. So when we have the square root of 1, that means what number do we need a times by itself to get this number inside the square root? And the square root has this symbol here, kind of looks like a division, but it's got more of a tick on the end. So what number multiplied by itself equals 1? Well, we know 1 times 1 equals 1. So the answer to this is 1. So what's the square root of 4? Well, what number times itself gives us 4? Well, that's 2, because 2 times 2 is 4. Square root of 9. What number times itself is 9? Well, that's 3. And so forth. But what about like the square root of 2 or the square root of 3? Well, there's no nice numbers that equal these numbers. And these numbers actually end up being decimals, like this one's about 1 1.4, and the decimal number goes forever with no pattern. We actually call this an irrational number, but we'll talk more about that in a later video. And square root of 3 is roughly 1.7. And again, it goes forever. There's no nice number that it's actually going to be. All right, let's look at cubes. One cubed, well, that just means one times one times one. And one times one times one is one. Two cubed means two times two times two. And that's eight. Three cubed means 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. 4 cubed, 4 times 4 times 4, which we get 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is 64. And 5 cubed means 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25, and 25 times 5 is 125. So these numbers get pretty big pretty quick, and obviously there's infinite amount of them, and these are our perfect cube numbers. So when we do cube roots, it's very similar to square roots, and has a, the same symbol but with a little 3. So we can look at the cube root of 1, so the cube root of 1 means what number times itself 3 times equals this number inside here? Well we know 1 times itself 3 times gives us 1. The cube root of 8 is what number times itself 3 times gives us 8? Well, that's 2. Cube root of 27, well, what number times itself 3 times gives us 27? And that's 3. 
and hopefully you get the idea from here. And very similar, very same as square roots, like cube root of two is not a nice number. It's a decimal that goes forever. Same with the cube root of three and the cube root of four. Any number that's not a perfect cube is going to give us an ugly looking decimal number if it's not one of these numbers. Thank you.